So you watch the Hype House's TikToks, yeah? Probably dance along with them in our seats or wherever we are, and it all seems good. They look happy, they love what they do, and there's nothing else they'd rather be doing. Oh, come on. Don't tell me you actually believe that stuff. Sure, it's normal that they might not always exactly be in the mood to make TikToks, but this is way beyond that. We all know Thomas is the somewhat unofficial manager of the Hype House, right? Well, it would surprise you to know that Thomas is an ex-member of the YouTube creator house, Team 10. No, he didn't leave. He was kicked out. Or, as he said, fired. It's only logical that a few months later, he goes on to create a house on probably the next big thing after YouTube, isn't it? Well, I think, I'm probably correct, that Thomas is just using the Hype House as a way to get back at his former associates at Team 10. It makes sense, doesn't it? It's, however, too bad that Thomas keeps taking advantage of these poor teenagers who are probably just trying to live their best lives. How do I know? Well, there's a video where Thomas was with Dixie and he's like, Dixie, have you made a TikTok today? To which she said, no. He then goes on to ask her if she's eaten, saying stuff like, Dixie, I swear if you've eaten today, I swear, and stuff like that. Well, in the caption, he stated he was just being sarcastic, but what do you expect? Not long after that TikTok was made, the Hype House was in some sort of interview, and Dixie was asked to pick out one of her most viral TikToks to recreate for the interview. And then she goes, well, there's like a backstory to this one. So I hadn't made any content for like a week, and Thomas said he wouldn't let me eat until I made some TikToks. And then a member of the interview crew said, no way, so it was by force? And she said yes. I honestly am just bothered by the fact that she was laughing throughout the entire conversation. These kids are actually being taken advantage of. Some of them have realized it. A full video about that is linked in the description down below. As for others, we'll be here to tell you if they ever figure it out for themselves. There's a secret that sorta involves you. This might not exactly be a secret, but your idols at the Hype House definitely wouldn't tell you this, especially not how I'm about to tell you, because I'm going to be as blunt as possible. So we've probably noticed that TikTok stars in general mostly make money from the app by selling their merchandise, clothes that have their very own logos or marks they are known for on the app, right? We also know that to do this, you have to possess a really large following and an active one at that, to be confident enough to expect to make sales when your merch drops. And that's where you come in. You're constant staring at your phone screens, watching, liking, commenting on, and sharing their TikToks gives them that following they need to make as much money as possible off their merch. And there are also brands searching for ambassadors. The following that you are a part of opens them up to such opportunities which means more money, more fame, and you, their number one fan, keep sulking over not making it big like those guys. Dare I say, this isn't just the Hype House's secret, but TikTok and the world of social media in general. Of course, you're allowed to have your fun and support whoever you wish, but remember where you need to draw the line and get on with something productive and not just fuel someone else's success. Who are the real founders? Like I said earlier, Thomas is the self-acclaimed manager of the Hype House. He and Chase Hudson are also the self-acclaimed co-founders of the Hype House. However, recent information has surfaced that this may not be the case. Daisy Keach explained that there were actually five creators who came together to create the Hype House, but Thomas and Hudson decided to take all the credit for themselves. Whether this is true or not, we can't exactly say. But what we do know is that the Hype House is definitely hiding this from us all because Thomas has not made a statement about it to this day. The whole of TikTok might as well be some sort of secret agency. A few weeks ago, a certain video was circulating over the internet. We all know how no one ever takes out time to read the terms and conditions, yeah? So some research was done by the government of the USA shortly after military personnel started making use of TikTok to communicate with citizens, and it was found in the application's terms 
that TikTok collects its users' personal information, such as location, search history, and stuff like that. While people got offended at a government official claiming that TikTok was a threat to national security, stating that other applications collect almost the same information, but are left alone because they're American, the government has ordered all military personnel who were previously on the app to delete their accounts and further investigation is still ongoing. What does this have to do with the Hype House, you may ask? Well, the Hype House is more or less the face of TikTok. Also, if whatever information that is gathered at the end of this investigation doesn't sit well with the government, TikTok might as well be banned throughout the United States. If that happens, about $50,000 of the down payment for the mansion that functions as the Hype House, plus other investments the group has put into making the house fully functional, would be going right down the drain. Their only hope would be regrouping on another platform, YouTube maybe. Whether or not TikToks are actually being used to collect information for China's government towards preparation for war, or whatever else the American government may fear, still remains unanswerable. The real question is, if they are, and these kids at the Hype House actually know about it, what exactly are they standing to gain from keeping it a secret from the public? Well, it's only a matter of time until we find out. And guys, we've come to the end of this video. If you really liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Do you have any thoughts on the video or any other content you'd like to see on this channel? If yes, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. And if you're still contemplating whether or not to subscribe to this channel, I'd like you to do so, and I promise to do my very best to ensure that you do not regret it. Also, click on that little bell so you get notified every time I drop a new video. This remains your number one channel for all things TikTok. Bye guys.